Welcome back again to Braves Cards 27. Uh, since I'm pretty much done with graphing this year, um, I guess I'm not going to show my entire, everything I got this year, just because it'd just be too much to show, and I don't want to take all my cards out. But, however, I am going to show my top 15 IP autographs this year on cards, so nothing that was on a ball or picture, those are, those are not included. This is just strictly, uh, that are on cards. So yeah, let's get into it. So at number 15, we have right here, Mr. Zach Thompson, who's a uh, former first round draft pick for the Cardinals. Uh, his prospect stock has fallen off a lot, but I certainly like him. He started to get kind of good towards the end of the year after a very, very slow start. Uh, one of the nicest guys I've ever met at a game. Super, super great guy. Uh, he racked someone I had for him, but yeah, Zach Thompson. Number 14, a guy I got twice, Kyle Muller, right there. Another really, really nice guy on this. Uh, this is on a pro debut, but I got him on a couple others, too. And, yeah, uh, he got called up for a little bit for the Braves. Did a great role before they sent him back down. But, I mean, for the circumstances that he was in, he did really good. And I'm happy I got him. And I think he's going to be really, really good. Number 13, we have Jesse Chavez right here. Um... He's just had a good career, I, I guess, per se. I mean, he's had his best year ever this year with the Braves. He's, he has, like, a 220 year A, and he's just doing really, really good with Atlanta. But, I mean, he's played in the league every, every year in the league since 2008. And, uh, yeah, he's his second stint with the Braves, and happy I got him before he got called up. And, I mean, he's not, like, this eye-popping name, but, I mean, he's just had a good career. Uh, number 12, we have Wes Helms, just mediocre career but he played for a while and just i don't know i just felt like putting him in the video i think he deserved it and he's a former brave a little bit of bias but at number 11 i believe we have michael gibbons who i got in colorado before he got traded to the reds uh not much to say about him pretty good reliever he gets traded a lot at the deadline um and yeah i got him when he was on the rockies Got him post game inside. Number 10, we have another prospect, Ryan Belade. We got called up for like three games this year before he got sent back down. Got him in Salt Lake because uh, I saw Albuquerque Isotopes play the Salt Lake Bees. I did Albuquerque. The Salt Lake side was pretty hard. They get stuff there. But uh, yeah, Ryan Belade right there. Uh, he's kind of a jerk, but he signed, so I'm not going to complain. And yeah, another prospect who's Stock's falling off a lot. However, he is still a top 100 prospect. That is Drew Waters right there. Only time I got all year. He is very, very, very hard to get. One of the hardest graphs, I'd say, in all of my league baseball. I mean, he's just a jerk. But I did get him once. And, yeah, number nine, I believe. And number eight, we have former Brave, Alex Wood right there. Wish we would have kept him. Uh, thing is, it's kind of a funny story about this. The day after I got him, he tested positive for COVID. So, I mean, like, I didn't really get worried, but, like, I just thought that was kind of interesting. Like, literally, like, after I got him, he tested positive for COVID. But, yeah, Alex Wood on the 18 card. You can't really see half his signature, but it is on there. It just looks like an A. But I got him when the Giants were in town. Number seven, we have Jason Kipnis, a two-time All-Star. He was in Gwinnett all year. I only got him once, but I got him on two. This is, this is one of them. And he's had a really good career. He might hang it up. I don't think he will, but he could be done playing, at least in the majors, for his whole career. And, yeah, decent career, though, for Jason Kipnis. Number seven, we have one of my newest, my my, my last one of the year, but a good one, Dansby Swanson. Uh, All-star potential shortstop. And, yeah, former first overall draft pick. And, yeah, Dansby Swanson. Number five, I believe, we have Eddie Rosario. Uh, got him when he was on rehab with the Stripers. And, yeah, has had a good career. He had a really good year in 2019. He's having a good time with the good year, good stint with the Braves right now. Uh, and, yeah, Eddie Rosario. Number four, we have nine, nine, number 19 prospect, Shane Baez, right there. Uh, through his first two starts, he's done insane already. 
and he's looking like he's going to be an ace for the Rays for many years to come. So happy I got him. Number three, uh, Evan Longoria. Uh, had a great career. He's not as good as he used to be, but still has had a really, really good career. Uh, probably not going to be a Hall of Famer, but sorry about that. My video cut out, but for Evan Longoria. And yeah, number two, Andrew Miller. Right there, great. One of the best relievers of the decade. Got him when he was on rehab, and yeah, good signer. And number one, Trevor Story. Got him in Colorado, one of the best shortstops in the league. He was running in black, but still, it's still Trevor Story, so I ain't going to complain. And yeah, it's my top 15 IP autographs of 2021.